Hi everybody, and welcome to this special video. Uh, it's not that special. <laughs> You've probably seen from the title of this video, if you used your eye holes. So the video is about Odin. Odin's been reaching out to me, which is kind of interesting. For any of you who remember, I, when I first started reaching out to Freya, I did try to reach out to Odin, but he wouldn't work with me at all. <laughs> Um, I used to like light a candle for him. I bought this really beautiful blue stormy candle for him and I would light it and every time I would light it, it would go out. Uh, basically, I got the impression that Odin was like, nah. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay. It's been like four years since then and maybe a month ago, Odin started reaching out to me. So... Uh, yeah, let's get into that. I think the number one thing that kind of intrigued me and started kind of being something that I started noticing or something that's more noticeable was recently the, um, oh god, what is it called? The Assassin's Creed game Valhalla, <clears throat> I believe that's the name of it, came out. And I was intrigued because I work with Freya, right? Um, my boyfriend was playing it, I was sitting on the couch, and basically that's that. I mean, I was just enjoying watching him play the game a lot and they did show they do show Odin in there quite a few times. Although I remember when I was watching the first reveal of like Odin, I was like, that's not how I see him. <laughs> I mean, they didn't really get Freya how I expected her either, but you know, I was seeing him in the game. I don't really relate to him as a deity outside of that at all. And then one night I had a dream and then also sort of a feeling within myself. I had a dream that I was in my backyard with somebody, probably my boyfriend. Anyways, we're sitting there and there is a tree in the backyard that I've never seen there in real life. Like that tree in real life does not exist. But in my dream, for whatever reason, it exists. <laughs> so this tree's just kind of chilling out there. There's a mad thunderstorm happening in my dream. It's like going wild, lightning all across the sky. You hear the thunder, etc. It's getting a little dicey in there. Um, but there's no rain actually happening. It's just like that before kind of vibe. From then on, um, lightning ends up striking this tree. And you'd expect like it like broke the mid part of it, I guess. So you'd expect the tree to fall over like boop, down. That's not what happened. <laughs> so lightning strikes the tree and in my dream this tree literally goes boop. The top part of the tree literally lands straight down and you can still see like the, the leaves and everything. So it's standing straight up on the trunk part of it. The stump's over here I guess. So this tree is now two halves. From the, the top half of the tree all of these wolves start racing towards me in the dream and they're like coming from me. They look like blood hungry or whatever. I'm kind of terrified like, oh God, no. Um, and then I wake up. So I wake up from this dream. When I woke up, I like heard the name Odin and that's how it worked with Freya. Whenever I did a meditation with her, I just heard her say her name over and over to me again. With this time, it was just Odin once, right? So I'm like, Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sleep though because it's early in the morning and I don't want to deal with this right now because I already dealt with that with Freya. Like Freya just kept saying her name, she wouldn't leave me alone and I was like, no, let's not do that. So I started to try and go back to sleep and what ended up happening is I heard noise or like music or talking in the living room and my mind is telling me that's the TV, right? Like, that's probably the TV. Obviously, I know the TV's off. Like, I know m both me and my boyfriend turned it off before we went to bed. There's no way that TV's on. Like, I don't even see the light from it underneath my door or anything. In my head at this point, I'm like, this is Odin. He wants me to go to the TV for some reason. Like, he's telling me, he's trying to get me to understand there's a sound over there, that's where I need you to go. And I'm tired, I don't wanna do it. Eventually, I just get irritated because the noise keeps going off and I'm like, oh my God, okay. So I go to the living room, I turn on YouTube, and I, you know, get another message in my head, like, I just hear it out of nowhere kind of thing. It just happens. Clear audience, okay? Like, that's my thing. And it was like, type in Odin patron, or like, um, my deity Odin, or something like that. So I type this in, I find a video from a girl, she starts talking about her experience with Odin, 
And she, there's one thing specifically that she said to me that really stood out that made me be like, okay, here we go. And she said that she had a similar situation to me where it was like, she tried to work with him and then he didn't want to work with her. And I'm like, however many years later, he came back and they, she started working with Odin. And that rung to me because I was like, that's the exact same thing that happened to me. He didn't want to work with me when I tried to. And then now all of a sudden he's here. Um, and so what this whole situation was teaching me or telling me is that Odin is finally like chill to work with me now. Like, I don't know what, if I changed or what happened, but now he's vibing. Like he's rearing and ready to teach me whatever. So now I'm thinking, let's go further along or further ahead. It must have been like a couple of days to a week, but I didn't have anything back from Odin. Odin didn't re-reach out to me. I was just there kind of chill, like, okay, like, you'll come to me when you want to talk to me. Um, and then it kind of started being a thing of he wants me to reach out to him at some point, or I was just like, I want to figure out what you want from me, I guess. So I decided to sit down in meditation for a little bit, which I did. And I remember specifically every time I tried to sit down to do either a guided kind of thing or like meet um, your spirit guides or whatever, or just even music. I tried to sit down and I really tried to visualize talking to him or what he wanted. And every time I would sit down and try to do something or like try to meditate, try to kind of visualize, something in my room would make a noise <laughs> and I remember hearing at one point again in my noggin <laughs> but I remember he him saying something like if you're too distracted by small things obviously you need to work on your meditation kind of by basically telling me I was not focused enough patience you need to have patience and you need to have focus you've got neither and I was like correct sir I just want to figure out what the hell you want kind of thing. Um, but Odin is kind of a guy that's like very slow, meticulous, thought out kind of thing. From there, I ended up, I think I had a live with one of my friends, Leanne, uh, also known as Health Key Rain the Woke Witch, and I was telling her about all of this, and I remember talking about it. I was talking about the patience kind of essence and how to me, and this is such a big, this is important. I don't know why it is, but it's an important thing here. Um, I was talking to her about how I thought that Odin was trying to teach me a lesson about patience. I was talking about how it corresponds to me with fairies um, and how, well, how did I relate it to being? The idea behind it is that with fairies, there's this, there's a patience to it as well. There's a different kind of patience, but it's more about the laugh or the joke. So like, let's say fairies around you are, hide your keys from you or something like that, but you don't notice it right away. Uh, usually, like the way I feel about this is they don't reveal things to you until it, it like amounts to the best payoff or the best joke. So that way the laughter is better at the end. They steal your keys, but you don't notice it. And then they show you small signs like, um, or they like put something in your way so you realize you need your keys. And then, um, you know, the, the payoff of the joke is funnier. Like, haha, you can't find your keys, you know, whatever. Uh, so that, that trickster kind of energy, it, it amounts to a bigger payoff in the end with that patience. But with Odin, the patience is about that big payoff too, but not about a joke. It's more about the lesson payoff. He gives you small pieces of things in small amounts of time, so that way the payoff for the lesson is of bigger meaning. And he really enjoys that, and I don't know why. Um, I, I respect it, but it's still interesting and something I'm working through. Where this is leading to is I finally did meet and talk with Odin in meditation and visualization, whatever you want to call it. I waited a different day to do it. I really was focusing on meditating and then finally I reached through to him. And I don't know why I didn't expect him to be like this, but he is a big boy. Like he is like giant, <laughs> okay? Like really tall and like a boulder basically. Like that's what I just saw him as. 
and he has like of course that the gray beard that's long and like that whole thing and i also saw him with a blue hat or like some sort of hat like a tra you know that traveling hat he sometimes has in his stories or whatever i don't know if that's an actual thing or if i'm connecting that to ode from freya her lover who i think is secretly odin but anyways he in my meditation visualization he had a blue hat and he had like a jacket over him or like a over blanket shawl kind of thing and it was torn to shit but he was still carrying it around i don't know he's kind of quiet few of words he doesn't talk very often but when he does there's usually a reason behind it and like I said, I think it just has to do with that payoff towards the end. So that's pretty much my experiences with Odin as of lately. There hasn't really been anything new that's popped up. The only other thing I can think of is that I had a power surge through my house, like maybe a couple weeks ago, something like that. That really sucked. My fridge is dead. Maybe that was due to an Odin. I don't know. He does the lightning and the storm. I feel like he has storm energy vibes. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share what I was going through in connecting with Odin. I don't know if he'll be here to stay around. I'm not really sure if he'll connect with me as a patron deity or not. Um, but at the very moment, I think he's trying to teach me about patience, which again, not very good at patience, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> so if you guys kind of enjoyed that quick little story with me on my experiences, let me know down below if you work with Odin or if you have any experiences with Odin. What does he look like to you whenever you see him in visualization or whatever? Um, and also what's his personality like? Uh, how does he help teach you, etc. Or if you don't work with Odin, tell me who you work with and why and you know, all the things. Anyways, I'll see you later guys. Much love. Yeah.